Please welcome Tupac Shakur. <laughs> See, I get a feeling there are two Tupacs. Uh, See, I mean, you're this kind, sensitive, friendly guy. Unani smelling God. <laughs> <laughs> Yet, you're involved in so much controversy, but we'll get to all of it. How's Janet as an actress? How does she do? She's great. I think she's going to surprise a lot of people by just being natural, you know, being real, like, I'm girlish. You know, everybody's expecting her to be rich and act rich, but she handles that. She does that. Yeah, you know you got the role every man in America wants. Right. <laughs> the Punani smelling role. Everywhere I go, <laughs> he's mad at Punani, huh? That's you. You and Janet Jackson. <laughs> It's killing me. <laughs> Did you get to kiss her? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Is she a good kisser? Oh, yes. 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 <laughs> yes. I was like, cut, do it again. <laughs> One more time, John, please. <laughs> Y'all don't even got to pay me. Do it again. <laughs> was her boyfriend on the set? Oh, right there. <laughs> He's right there. Did that intimidate you? Not intimidate me, but it made me, like, really want to kiss her. You know what I'm saying? Because... <laughs> Man. Only got one shot, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You know, you gonna try to give her a kiss as soon as it's cut anyway. So let me do mine so I know he can't do his. I was kissing <laughs> like I wanted something from her, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I, was at home, I was at home practicing with 30 wives of bubble gun. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> she gonna get it. <laughs> I, I, was, I was watching TV this weekend, and there's this whole controversy about the AIDS test. What yeah. happened? Okay. Somebody came to my trailer, the director of the film, John. We John need Singleton. you to take an AIDS test, because you're going to kiss Janet. Q-Tip just kissed her. She caught a cold or something. You know what I'm saying? That's what they said. And I was like, well, am I going to really, you know, do it to him? They said, no. I said, well, ain't no need for me to take a test. He laughed. The producer came in. Mm -hmm. You know, white guy, are you going to do this? Uh, no. You know what I'm saying? He laughed. Somebody else came in, so pop, everybody started to do a roundabout. My manager, my agent. So far, I was like, no, I'm not taking the test. If I'm going to get to really lay with her, we could take four tests. If she really want to be show, you know? But other than that, it's disrespectful to me. It, 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 you know what I'm saying? It just made me look at her like, what? You know what I'm saying? So it's like, plus I heard she said I was lying. Her people said I was lying about the test. I don't lie. I'm real, too real. So she need to check that. Check her people and check who said it. Yeah. Um, I was in the monologue uh, last week talking about um, this article that was in the paper where the guy killed an officer and then said it was because of your lyrics. I guess th the actual tape was in the car or something. I got it bad, man. Yeah, it's so much stuff, man. <laughs> got it bad. People just go, who do we get? Uh, who got the craziest name? <laughs> <laughs> Tuvok. <laughs> got him. <laughs> when you read that, what did you say? I said, woo. I mean, I got beat up by the police before. So to me, I felt like, whew. <laughs> but I didn't do it. So I felt like, you know, whatever he got to do to stay out to the death penalty or whatever, let him do it. You know, I understand where you're coming from. Yeah, you know? but you know what the judge say? Yeah. <laughs> Mama said, lock you up. <laughs> guilty. guilty. <laughs> now, wrap that. Yes, guilty. Yes. But the whole bad part is they was bothering me. And I had the vice president on TV talking about taking my record off the shelves. Police, you know, every time they see me, they think I'm a cop killer. I never kill what I do. Just because somebody just put my name in something. There's really no way, you know, to get around it except to keep struggling, you know. There's people that struggle harder than me. You had a suit against a police department for brutality, right? Oakland Police Department. They beat me up pretty bad for nothing. For jaywalking. But it's cool. For jaywalking? Yeah, I got revenge on their ass now. What, what was the revenge? You know, I went, I, they beat me up in that city, took me to jail. I was back within two months doing a major motion picture with Janet Jackson. And they had to protect me. We was hiring them. And I was the star. So, you know, and I was on the set. Police tell me, where you going? I'm telling them, I'm not coming out my trailer till this cop is off the lot. I'm not coming out my trailer doing their scene till he leaves. And they got to make the cop go. Well, the movie can't go on. So I got revenge. Then I left, skied up. And I'm just talking about the police. You know? <laughs> <laughs> um. When, when we were talking at the top of the show, first of all, you did a little rap, and uh, it contained the word nine. Yeah. Now, uh, on the street, that's nine millimeter. Right. Uh, You're going to get some letters. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, and I'm wondering, are you concerned that possibly it'll affect box office or record sales because you're too close to the edge or too hard? It's like this. The masses, the hungry people, they outweigh the rich. So as long as I appeal to the hungry and the poverty-stricken people, it's all good. I'm going to have a job for life. It's these rich people who worried about the, the, the fooling the poor people. Yeah. Everybody knows crime out there. Everybody know what type of situation we're in. In the streets, all I'm doing is showing you and yeah. telling you. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Why get mad at the brother that bring you the news? Get mad at the person that's making it happen. Feel me? It's like, yeah. you know. Yeah. Um, you know, th there's, a, there's a weird game that goes on because now, as a result of your art, you're becoming one of the rich. Yes. Not rich, but they giving me checks more often. <laughs> but they got this cool way to keep to keep a brother broke. You know what I'm saying? Like like you say, I got like seven lawsuits against me for nothing. But I still got to pay the lawyers. Still got to pay everybody to go to court. Still got to pay for a bodyguard. So they give me more checks, but they also give me more bills. Yeah. People stealing my car, you know, all that type of stealing my radio. I just got my little radio stuff. I had to get another one, but it's cool. <laughs> I'm gonna find who got my radio. Trust me. <laughs> I got a low jack on it. I'm gonna find it. <laughs> nah. Matter of fact, let me see where your stereo is. Hey, 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 it's not me, man. It's not me. <laughs> we also were talking about this movement in the music business back to marijuana. Uh, everybody from Dr. Dre, whose album is called The Chronic, mm -hmm. to Black Crows. Um, let me play devil's advocate. Is this irresponsible considering we have kids who enjoy the music? Well, it's like this. It's like parents have to do their job. Mm -hmm. Rappers. We mm -hmm. can only we can only do things rappers like Charles Barkley said, you know, he play ball, y'all mm -hmm. be parents. And yeah. it's like that. It's like we rapping about how we feel. We really do smoke weed. You know? Yeah. We really do see that as a way for us to calm this, this these riots that we hear in our head. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like so our job is to talk to the youth. When we're talking to the youth, we tell them, man, we got it bad. But we sitting here smoking this weed trying to get through it. You know what I'm yeah. saying? It's telling them, stop killing each other, man. Let's just smoke a blunt. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Let, let's smoke yeah. a blunt. Yeah. If you stress, let's smoke a blunt. You know what I'm saying? Anti-violence, pro-blunt. Is that it? Pro-blunt. Yeah. <laughs> now, what will you tell your first son? Um, like my mama told me, if you want to get high, get high with me. You know what I'm saying? Ooh. And my mama a panther. And I sat and got high with my mama. I'm sorry, a, 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 a black panther, panther? A black panther. I sat and got high with my mama and could go out in the streets and tell my friends, that ain't weed. <laughs> Y'all smoking some angel dust or something, that ain't weed. Because mm -hmm. my mama told me what weed was, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I could help my friends so they wouldn't be messing with mysterious drugs. Because there's drugs out there and people doing them. Coffee is a drug. You know what I'm saying? It's just that young people don't drink coffee. I'm we glad smoke. Coke is out. Yeah. Coke is out, right? And that's the whole cool. That's what we should be cheering. Can marijuana lead to something harder? No. Mm -hmm. Okay, you're gonna rap for us? Oh, for sure. <laughs> Tupac, sick coming right back. I won't deny it, I'm a straight rider. You don't wanna fuck with 